review to do and we're gonna open it up and see what's inside okay guys so let's open this up and see what's in here I don't know if you guys can see that I guess you can I'm trying to keep it so because the other side's got info on it so I'm just cutting it up and you can see it here Okay, so we got a car phone mount that we are going to try today. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this and um, we'll go from there. This uh, shaver got a, um, a note or an email, I guess, um, and they asked him if he would do a product review. He want, They're looking for testers. That's what they're looking for. So they want us to test these um, phone car mounts. So he said, okay, sure, no problem. So he did, and what you do, you go on Amazon, and they tell you what one to buy, and you buy it. And then once you buy it, you send the uh, information that you bought it and everything and put it on their thing. And um, then they reimburse your money and put it in your PayPal. So he asked him if he had anybody else that he knew that would might want to do a product review on it. Or, you don't have to do a video. That's up to you. They just want you to test it. That's basically what they want you to do. So... Um, we decided we were going to do videos on it. So he made his video yesterday, which you can go check out on Shaver 1000. And he did it with using the Corvette, my dad's car, and my my truck. So he did those. So today, because I was at work and I wasn't able to do this, um, I was waiting for mine to come in, which came in today. So... Um, I, I'm going to do it on the SUV today. So we're going to check this out and see. I have had them before. Um, not this one. I have had others. And, um, you know, they, they seem to do fine for a little bit. And then something breaks on it because they make it weak. I had one that went into the cup, and which I liked it because it was nice and tall. And it was close to me so I could change it and I didn't have to lean over or anything. It was right there. But they made a piece on there that was <coughs> cheap. They made it cheap. And that's what broke all the time. So I had bought what, two of them. I used it for a little bit, but not as long as you should be able to use these. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyways, we're going to open this up and see... How well this looks. It's a little windy out here and I thought we'd be outside today. So you can do it two different ways. You can put it on your window or you can put it on your dash there. So it's showing you. It's showing you how on this side it shows you how to put it together. So we're going to open this up and see. I hope this is a good quality one. Because I will use this, especially if I'm allowed to go back as a CNA, I will be using this a lot. Um, but if not, then we'll just use it for traveling and stuff like that. Um, I won't know yet <coughs> until I see a neurologist, which I'm going to go to soon. So, anyways. Uh, yeah. Oh, it feels nice. It's cute. Cute little thing. There you go, that's the headpiece. This is where you're going to put your cell phone in. And you just take this on the side there, and you spread it to your phone. And then you can close it when it gets a little tighter to the size of your phone. So that's nice. So it adjusts. Now, they give you two pieces here. This is... This goes up like this. this adjusts here 
and this is going to be to push it down and for the suction. It has paper on there. It feels like uh, those jelly things. They're kind of neat. And, uh, and then you clamp it down with this. So, I'm not really sure. This must be for the... the uh, this must be for the dash board. This is like a permanent sticker. So if you put this down, it ain't going to move. And then you would slide this on top. So I don't like that idea because it ruins the dashboards. It ruins your glass. Or you can't get it off at all. You're stuck with the thing. So if this breaks, you're stuck with this. So I don't want to do that. But it does have a jelly thing on here. So we can use that. And you attach it to this little thing here and it's a ball let me get this going here and you must make it bigger and tighter now I don't know if you screw it on let's see here So you got to take this off and you screw this off. That's what it's saying. Why do you have to screw that off? I guess you put it on top and then you screw it back on just like so. So it's very, it's not too hard to uh, do I don't think. But here I'll just do it like this. And uh, see if I can get it on there so it'll stay on there. I don't know. It should. You would have thought it would have popped on there. So it says assemble. So you can take this on here probably and put this on and then screw it so it'll stay on. Can you see that? Yeah, I think so. But it's not that Hi. easy. Hold on just a moment. Hey everyone, this is Monkey 1000. And as you know that I had to leave doing my review. Sorry, I'm trying to straighten you up a little bit. Um, my mom was sitting over on the yard on her walker. And she felt like she was going to pass out, so I had to leave. I got her in the house and got her on the sofa. And she started to get really bad, and she's complaining her stomach was hurting and that she didn't feel good. She, and she started to ha throw up. So she, I had to call 911, and she went to the hospital. She was in the ER for a day and a half, and now she's in ICU. They don't know what's going on. They think maybe she might have a stomach infection that's caused her intestines to all sw swell up. She also, I got cars going by, sorry. She also, um, her blood pressure will not stay up for whatever reason. They don't know why. So, she was highly, highly dehydrated. We are up to 10 bags of water. So, and that's been since Saturday. And, um, so, I went this morning to see her. And, and they had a feeding tube in her. And they took the feeding tube out. The, uh, I just got there in time when the doctor came in. And he decided to take her off the heart meds that were keeping her heart pressure up to see how well she does on her own. So he got rid of that, but he is increasing the more water. So um, they got that going on. And she's really tired. She did talk to me today. I will go back again this afternoon. I took the day off of work today because I didn't want to be working an hour away if they needed me. At least here I'm only five minutes away from the hospital. So I didn't feel comfortable. So um, 
Anyway, so she is doing a little bit better. They took the GI tube out today, uh, this morning, and they're going to put her on a liquid diet at the moment and see how well she does on that. So, <coughs> that is where we are right now. Now, the blood pressure, they really don't know why. She does have a small leaky valve, but that nobody's been concerned about. And she also has um, AFib. And right now she's in AFib again. Um, the last night they had me scared because they had the crash, um, the crash thing. <coughs> Excuse me. I always cough. I got the crash thing there right beside her just in case her blood pressure dropped. It seems to drop when she sleeps. So they try to keep her awake a lot to try to keep that blood pressure up. So, um, yeah. So today we're, we're trying not without the meds. So, anyways. As that, we that's as far as I know for now until I go back to the hospital. Um, so, for the review, I have right here... And I put it together. I just did. <coughs> Excuse me. All you do is take the little knob, and as you saw in the video, I was trying to do it. Today, for some reason, I just did it, and it got on there real easy. So all you do is the twisty thing here, and just, just turn it, and they connect together. This is your adjustable. So they have an adjustable thing on here, which is nice. And I uh, guess you go... That way, yeah, makes it tighter there. So you got it like that, and you can adjust it the way you want, which I'll do in my car. And then we have, we're gonna use this one because I don't want to put that sticky thing that I showed you on my dashboard. I really don't like them. And once you get on there, you, they're hell to get off. So <coughs> I know it's there to make sure it works. So we're going to try it two different ways. I'm going to put it on my glass on my car and I'll also put it on my dashboard and try it there. And I forgot my cell phone so I have to go get my cell phone and then we'll, we'll, we'll continue this in the car. Be right back. Okay guys, so now we're in the car. I'm going to connect this lovely thing here. And we're going to put the cell phone on it. So I'm going to try. I don't know. I'll put you. I don't think you can see from there. I doubt it. You're on a. Yeah. So I'll have to hold you or something. So anyways. Let's try to hold this down. We're going to hold it here. Um, this is a box here. So you know it's a glove box. That's what that is right there. It's a glove box. So I don't know. If I'd want to put it on there, it's really, you know, not really a good idea. And you really, could you put it there? No, you can't put it there because it's out of the way. And back here would be too far. So really, the only option in this car to be able to use this is on the, on the window, which I really don't like. I really don't like these. But um, this one seems a lot of... Uh, um, good quality it's it's heavier than most so maybe you'll stay and we won't have the problem of it coming off like I had in my truck I did have these and you know the ones I had they were really cheap and um, they just didn't stay on very well so I can't do this with one hand so I'm gonna put this up here and I'll show you. You're just going to use this. And then when you put it on the window, you're going to push that button down, as you can see. Okay? And I'm going to peel that stuff off. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I kind of put it up a little high. I don't know if I'd like that. I mean, it's kind of interfering with my driving, I would think. You probably have to put it down lower. Um, but for this film, I'm going to show you how it works. And to put your cell phone in, it adjusts. So you can do that, and you hit those buttons, just like I said, and showed you. And then you're going to put your cell phone in here. And I'm trying to do this with one hand. And you just squeeze them together. That's what you do. Okay. You don't need to see my... 
And there you go. So, I mean, it is... Wow. I don't know. I mean... Ugh. I don't know. I, not, I don't like it. Um, I don't like it where it is. I like it, personally. I like the thing. I think it would be great. That's not the problem. I just think it needs to be down a little bit lower. So let me let me adjust it a little bit better. Um, but the problem is, see, if you want to open this up, you know, you 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 gotta keep it where you know you can open that up if you want. I mean, the camera's right there, so you don't have it interfering. So I'll try to bring it over a little bit more, maybe over to here, and and see how that works. We'll be right back. Okay guys, so I think I got it where I would would like it. Because if I go back to being a CNA, which I don't know if I'll be able to, um, you know, if I have to do my GPS, which is right down here, and I have to punch in my stuff, it's kind of right there, you know, right in my face. So it would be really good. And I usually keep it down here in the hole with the this, you know, with my charger, so, um, yeah, so, it, that is nice, I like it there, I think I would be happy with it right there, so I'd have to drive with it on, and see how well I like it, um, so, yeah, to see if I like it there or not. But, I mean, that would be the only thing I would really use it for, uh, you, you know, for driving is my GPS. And that's about it. Um, you know, if I could get the phone, you know, if the phone rang and I had to, I could push it real easy and put it on speaker. So that would be good, too. You know, I could do that. As you see, my there's Shea Bear right there. So he always stays in the corner there. Ah. So, anyways, yeah, overall, I do like it. Um, yeah, uh, and it, you can adjust it from this thing here and over, I think, behind here. So, you can adjust them both sides. So, it's, it's, yeah, I think that would work out really good for my job, you know, or even if we took a trip and, and I put the GPS on. So, I could see it really well. Going to Orlando, you know, it, it, we I like to have the GPS. So, you just never know. So, anyways, yeah. I think it will be a very handy thing. I'm going to keep it up there. And I will see how well it works, um, you know, within the days coming. So, maybe I'll do an update on it and how much I like it. And it's starting to rain. It said it was going to rain, but not until Santa o'clock tonight. But, of course, I'm out here videoing, so that's why it's raining. Anyways, I'm going to end this. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry that it took me longer than I expected. I expected to have these up on Saturday night. It's now Monday. I have to go to the hospital. So, after that, this evening sometime, hopefully I'll have these up. So, um, yeah. But things happen. And... That's just part of life. So hopefully my mom's going to be okay. And um, yeah. So uh, Shea Bear did his review on this too. So if you want to check out some more videos and different cars. He did the Corvette and he did my Toyota Tacoma. So you can check that out at Shea Bear 1000. So go check them out. So anyways. Y'all have a great day. And a great rest of the week. I hope mine gets a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. So, take care all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.